Taylor Day. Happy Eras Day! You're gonna see my makeup, my hair, my outfit, the whole reveal. So I'm so excited. And I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. I'm also gonna be doing a get ready with me on TikTok. So this footage on YouTube and then the footage on TikTok are kinda gonna be the same. I'm gonna be switching off between TikTok and filming for YouTube. I'm so excited. Let's let's go get ready. I'm so excited for this concert. I'm Oh my god, it's like here. Like, I can't believe it. I've literally been planning my outfit, my hair, my makeup months in advance. I've been a Taylor fan since the Red Era, so that happened when I was in middle school. Kind of like transitioning into a freshman in high school, I believe, but I, I want to say it was like 7th, 8th grade. I've seen her in concert during her 1989 tour and her rep tour, so this is gonna be my third time seeing her, but the first time going to Eras. I always go with my brother's wife, Tin. We've been to all two Taylor shows that we've been to together, the 1989 and the rep tour, and now we're going together for Eras, so it's kind of like a tradition. It's gonna be a huge group of us this year. It's gonna be six of us. Each person is gonna be dressed up as an era. I'm dressing up as an era, but I'm dressing up as a specific song in that era. So it may look like I'm a different era, but really I'm that era. You'll see and you'll see and hear the whole explanation. The reason why I started becoming a fan of hers was because my brother's wife, Tin, really, really, really loved her music and was a fan of her already. Once I became a middle schooler, she introduced me to Taylor's music and we just really really bonded and connected over taylor and we've just been like together side by side since then and loving taylor going to her concerts traditionally together so this is gonna be the third time me and tim go together to eras so i'm so excited um it's literally a tradition that i hope never stops it's gonna be a huge group of us it's gonna be me my boyfriend Tin, who is my brother's wife and then my brother and then my brother and Tim also have a middle school best friend that's going with us. And also too, their middle school best friend is taking her cousin. So I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna put like a light powder on top of my eyelids just so that it's ready for eyeshadow. It's already prepped. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Baby Doll. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray again and just set all of my foundation creams my child me is screaming because of eras and you get to experience all the different eras and it kind of just feels like you went to that specific tour if that makes sense i honestly cannot rank 1989 and rep like over or under each other on the list like it's just straight up number one 1989 and rep just at the number one spot lover has to be my second favorite and then definitely red folklore is really good and then fearless speak now evermore the nights and then debut but they're all so amazing in their own way a lot of her albums coincided with a lot of amazing things that happened in my life that's why i asked it too like based on the ranking that's where they are as well because not only are they incredible songs but also too I experienced such amazing things in my life that are connected to those songs and to those albums. I'm gonna take this kind of, it looks sparkly, but really it's just a light lavender shade. I'm gonna take this, just put it in my crease area. Then I'm gonna take this kind of swirly, purple, blue, white eyeshadow and just put it over my crease. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. Just put the inner corner right here. Then I'm gonna take some gems and put it on my eyes. I'm gonna line my lips with the Juvia's Place Luxe Liner in the shade Love Me. This is literally my favorite lip liner. It always stays on throughout the day. And I'm gonna use the MAC Bullet Lipstick in the shade love you back i love this matte lipstick unfortunately i think it's discontinued so i just gotta use it here and there i'm gonna use two lip glosses i'm gonna use the tower 28 
Jelly Lip Gloss in the shade Pistachio and the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk. I personally love these lip glosses. They're my favorite two on the market right now. This one, I just love the color payoff because it's a pinky nude. I love this one because it's so nostalgic to me. It really reminds me of like the Disney princess makeup that you get like in the toy store when I was very little. I'd always get the lip glosses and the eyeshadows. These lip glosses literally smell like the lip glosses in those Disney princess makeup packs. I love how it's like really glittery. So I like to put this one all over my lips. I just love how it just looks really good with the MAC lipstick. I like to take the Fenty Beauty lip gloss and just put it in the center. I love how this turned out. I love how mermaid-esque lavender sparkly it is. I am Midnight's Era. I am Lavender Haze. I wanted to do a specific song off of a specific album, so I am Midnight. I wanted to do a different take on Midnight. I love it so, so much. <laughs>
the end of tonight. After this, when you hear those songs out in the world, I hope you're going to think about the memories that we made here tonight at SoFi Stadium.
because um, it's just kind of a fun way to challenge myself to to do songs that are like that I'm proud of and that I love but I haven't performed in a while. And um, it's it's equally exciting and terrifying at the same time because there are two different ones every single night. Oftentimes they're things I have either never performed live or have definitely not performed live in the acoustic way.
welcome to the concept merch haul part of my video. I have a lot of merch. I was not expecting to buy this much concert merch. I believe this is the most I've ever bought in terms of concert merch in my entire life. But nonetheless, I'm so happy and grateful that I was able to buy all of this and I'm just really, really excited to show you guys today. This t-shirt that I'm about to show you is the most comfortable t-shirt that I've ever worn in my entire life. And I'm so happy that it's in my collection. It's the oversized Taylor Swift t-shirts. This is the official Eras Tour t-shirt. It was like one of the official ones that they had. And I really love how oversized it is. It doesn't have a back, but I just really love the black and white design on the white t-shirt. And I love how oversized and soft it is. Me and Tin are matching in this t-shirt, which I love. I also got the other Eras Tour t-shirt, which is the black one that has like the colorful Eras logo in the front. And then it has the dates on the back. I'll show a little picture right here. It's so cool. Me and my boyfriend are matching with that t-shirt and we got it when they were kind of like re-putting out their Eras collection merch. It was like four items recently on the website and they were only putting it up for like I want to say like 72 hours. I really love how colorful it is on the front and then it has the dates on the back. And I love how on the side, I think it's on this side or on this side, it says Taylor Swift and Eras Tour on the side of the sleeve, which I really, really like. It hasn't come in yet because we ordered that one when it was relaunching with the four items and that was fairly recent, like maybe a couple weeks ago. So it won't come in until October, but I'm really, really excited to wear it and for us to be matching. I'm gonna go through the Through the Eras collection, which is a different Eras Tour merch collection. Each individual t-shirt had its own album. Lover had a t-shirt, then Fearless, and all the other albums. I bought a t-shirt from that collection. I got the Fearless Tour t-shirts. I love how it's pictures of her during her fearless tour. I just love it so much. I love the back and the front. I love how it has little dates at the bottom. Honestly, this t-shirt is giving 2008 2010 vibes and I honestly love it and I just love how it's pictures of her during her fearless tour and it's such a good t-shirt I I love it so much it's so nostalgic to me so I'm really really happy that I got it this is the collage sweatshirt I love how it's collage pictures of her in different performances and different tours and also to her album covers at the bottom. I'm so excited for winter and fall because I get to wear these sweatshirts that I have. So I'm really, really excited to wear them. I love how it has just collages of different pictures from tour and her performances. It's so cute. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. It's so soft on the inside as well. I love how me and Tin are matching in this one too. These items now are from the Eras Tour collection that was a new release that happened, I think, it was like during the summer while she was on tour. The next item is the Taylor Swift Eras Tour t-shirt with a performance picture of her performing Lavender Haze and the white and the purple stand out on the t-shirt. I love how it has all of the cities that she's going to for this tour and it has little stars to accent everything on the front and the back. I love this t-shirt so much. I can't wait to wear it. The next item that I have is this oversized t-shirt. It has her in her enchanted dress on and then it also has a back with all of the cities on the back and I love this t-shirt me and my boyfriend are matching in this t-shirt it's this cream sweatshirt that says Taylor Swift on the front and then it has her doing the fearless heart in the back with her guitar I love how it's cream colored and then it's like fearless themed in the back so it's kind of like the cream kind of matches that fearless aesthetic. The last item that I got is this tote bag. I love how it has the Lavender Haze performance picture of her in the front and then it also matches with my Lavender Haze t-shirt that I have. I also love how it has the friendship bracelet design in the front and then it comes with a Taylor Swift friendship bracelet keychain and it says TS on the front and it has like little stars. Then it also has all the 
albums on the back with this friendship bracelet design, which I love so much. So glad I got it. That is everything that I bought that's concert merch. I'm so happy with everything that I bought and I'm just really, really grateful that I was able to get these things and I was gifted some of these from Tin and I'm just really, really grateful and happy. The concert itself, oh my gosh, it's the best concert that I've ever gone to in my entire life. If I wasn't crying, I was screaming lyrics. Honestly, Folklore was my favorite set of the show. I just love how theatrical it was and I love the set, the production of it. I love the song choices. It was so incredible to just see that set. It made me love Folklore even more because I already was loving Folklore already. I already love it so much more because of her performance. You could tell that she was telling a story with those songs, which is so incredible to see that in performance and also hearing it lyrically. I was bawling during the Red Era, honestly. I was bawling because little me was just so happy that I got to experience Red Era live. Technically, I've heard Red songs when I went to go see her during 1989 and Reputation. Of course, it felt like she was singing her classics, but at the Eras tour, it felt like you were actually at the Red show because it was a section of the show where it was just red songs and it just felt like the red era. Little me was bawling, I was bawling, I was just so utterly happy and just full of joy crying my eyes out. I love the show, I loved the Lavender Haze performance, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. 1989 was phenomenal, I didn't even know that was happening. The 1989 set, like the transition of it because I did not know that part of the show but when it was transitioning to style as the first song of 1989 I was freaking out and it was such a cool transition. The surprise songs, the surprise songs, each of the surprise songs were from two of my favorite albums of all time. It's just, that's so crazy to me. It's essentially like you're growing up with her because that's how I always felt when listening to her music, especially being a fan at such a young age. Seeing her live this time, it just felt like I was my middle school self becoming that fan like when I was in middle school and then my high school self, I felt like I was my high school self, like seeing her for the first time live, especially during the 1989 set, it just felt like I was back seeing her for the first time in 1989 at that concert for the first time. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. It's such a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it and loved it as much as I enjoyed and loved making it and filming it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.